okay dear students let us see what is there in this question and how to do this a student blows across the top of the cylinder that contains water a first harmonic standing sound wave is produced in the air of the cylinder so what is happening is we are blowing over this we are blowing over this okay the wind is blowing or you can say that we are blowing so in such a case what happens is sound wave is produced and that sound wave because it gets reflected it goes in and then it gets reflected back so both of these they overlap with each other and hence they create standing waves now according to the condition when we are doing this thing the first harmonic standing wave is created in this column wave is produced in the air of the cylinder more water is then added now the water is added and the water increases its height now the student blows so that the first harmonic standing wave is produced with different frequency again the first harmonic is produced what is the nature of the displacement in the air at the water surface and the change in frequency when the water is added fine so first of all dear students because it is only the first harmonic that is created in both of the times in both cases so how is uh, the standing wave formed see the standing wave will come it will look somewhat like this somewhat like this so it is going to be a node on the surface of a water that is sure because it is closed organ pipe this has to be a node every time this will be anti node this will be node in this case also it will be like this so this is going to become a node and this will be anti node there is no doubt about it so what will be the nature of displacement at the surface of the water in both of the cases it is going to be a node so our answer is either c or the answer is d now coming to the second part of the question what is the change in frequency let us see now let us consider the case number 1 in this because it is first harmonic so i can say that the length let us let me call it l1 and this length is l2 so this l1 will be equal to lambda by 4 because it is first harmonic from here we find the wavelength so wavelength will become 4l1 now the velocity of the wave which is the velocity of the sound in our case will be equal to lambda into frequency and from here we will find f1 as v divided by lambda which is 4l1 so this becomes the formulation for frequency in first case now in the second case again we are talking about the first harmonic so our complete calculation will be the same so we would be getting f2 as v divided by 4 times l2 and v is the velocity of the wave v is the velocity of the sound so the velocity of sound is not going to change in the air it is going to be same in both of the cases so we can see that the frequency is inversely proportional to length so l2 is now lesser than l1 it only means that f1 will be um l2 is lesser so f2 will be more yeah so f2 will be more than f1 so the frequency is going to increase by this formulation see l2 is lesser f2 is more here l1 is bigger f1 is lesser so it is going to increase and hence our answer will be d so my dear students this is how we do this question this is professor varun please do subscribe to this youtube channel please do share the youtube channel with all of your friends all the best